Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Tammy and I'm here today to go through my new wellness planner from Simplified along with the clipfolio that I got with their recent spring launch. If you are familiar with the channel or you follow me over on Instagram, which is at Tammy Skipper, you know that my main planner is a Moxie Life goal setting planner. I had no desire to order one of the beautiful, lovely, wonderful Simplified planners. They really are gorgeous. I've ordered one in the past. The paper is exquisite and the designs are beautiful, but I really just am in love with my Moxie Life weekly planner. So I knew I didn't need that. And honestly, for the first couple of days before the launch and after everything launched, I really didn't even pay attention to the simplified launch because I knew I was happy in my planner. And then I saw that they were starting to sell out of a couple of things. And that is when I found out that they had launched this wellness planner. And if you followed my um, goals update from the other day, you saw that I have big health challenges going on right now. So I had been making do with a sort of traveler's notebook style book that I had left from a previous purchase from another company. And it's okay, but it was, I just love a coil. I love a coil. So I honestly did not even look at the details of this planner. I just saw that it was about to sell out, that it was like $24 or something like that. It did sell out by the way. And um, that it was on a coil. And I looked at a couple of the page layouts and I thought that'll probably work. I really want to support the company and I for sure need a good wellness planner. So I ordered it. It came super fast and here we are. What we're going to do is take time to go through this planner in a little bit of detail. So what I want to do first is just show you this clipfolio real quick. I did not need this. <laughs> I just thought it was beautiful and so I ordered it and it really goes with the colors that I have in our home. So I just knew that I could use it and have it out and enjoy. I think that the uh, pocket is really, really well done here. I like that it's low, but all the way across, but not super low. So this will be great for holding papers. I may keep this kind of with our um, like bill paying things because it seems like things come in the mail and I do try to tackle them once a week, not every single day. So this may be a good addition to that, or it just may be something that lives near the kitchen for quick use, but I like the paper layout. It does come with this. I haven't even looked into whether or not you can get refills because I have honestly found in the past with things like this, it takes me quite some time to get through a complete pad in a, a had folio like this. So I'm sure by the time that I need something else, I could either get a refill from Simplified or find something similar in an office supply store. It does just slide into a back pocket here so you could use whichever type of pad of paper you want. But it's really nice weight paper. I don't think it's quite as thick as their planners, but it's a beautiful uh, paper and it's definitely not too smooth. So I'm sure you could use any pen you want. Black ink, of course. Although I guess blue would probably look really pretty in here, but let's talk about something else. Let's talk about this blue wellness planner. This planner is a kind of coated plastic cover, nice coil. This is a nice bright gold and the wellness and simplified is also in bright gold. Let's figure out the dimensions exactly. So this is, Let's see, it's about, I think it's gonna be seven by nine. It's just about seven by nine. So that's the overall dimensions, including the coil. You have this just really nice light blue stripe in here for some contrast. Just a title page. It has a welcome from Emily, and this welcome letter is generic to their workbooks. So it's not specifically about the health um, or wellness workbook. They had a couple of options, so this letter is probably the same in all of them. And then it gets right into the heart. So it really takes you on looking back, looking ahead, what worked, new routines, what didn't work last year, um, and ideas for taking better care of yourself. Next, we get into what you want to develop a little more in detail. So this is wellness ideals, and then this is a simplicity challenge. Now for me, I'm picking this up primarily for physical health. 
However, this is a wellness planner and it definitely incorporates things beyond physical health about whole wellness, which really is my 2021 goal. If you saw that, you saw that it is a truly physical, um, mental, emotional, holistic health goal. So I liked that they had some of these other aspects to the, to the actual journal. Okay, so this is about how you wanna feel, recognizing your strengths, what nourishes you. I like this because I don't think this is a place where you just have to write about food. And I think that's healthy, that it's that overall approach. There's challenges here. So there's five challenges on this one for a simplicity challenge. So this is about simplicity in your life and um, you know, not just physical health. Then you have a 30 day water challenge. I really, really like this and I may work on this in May just to go ahead and kick off things. You also, you know, I don't know, you might want to recreate this every month. It would be kind of nice if this was in, in the planner for every single month. Um, but you could do that with a stencil or maybe copy the page since you're just using it for yourself and stick it on a notes page. Anyway, I'll show you where you could use that. Then it does get into actual nourishment. So water and food kind of are together here. Talks about what you would like to be nourishing your body with. And then another kind of um, simplified challenge. This one is about smartphones. So it's a seven day smartphone detox. I've actually done a lot of these they've become more routines for me, these different things, but I do like this particular page that it's all in here. Then you have a great reset plan page. So this is where you can plan ahead for the times that you would feel overwhelmed or feeling off track. You can set this aside when you're feeling good and strong and have it ready to go to go back on on the days that you don't feel as strong. Okay. Self routines and setting intentions more. This whole front portion really is to let you work through things before you get into the monthly and the weekly action pages, essentially. So you have those two pages. Then you get into your months and all the months are together. It is undated and it is for six months. So you could put, you could start this anytime if you had an off month basically, where things were just kind of out of whack, you could just skip that month and then go to the next. But there are six of these, six or 12. Let me make sure of that. Okay, six months of monthly layouts. That's what I was thinking at first. And then you go into your weekly views and you do have 26 of these. So you have half of a year in this, in this one journal. You do have space for exercise, vitamins, self-care, water, rest, and notes. For me, so plus or minus, it isn't designed to track food. And that may be intentional, and for a lot of people that may be a really good thing that you're not trying to do that. Since my personal challenge right now is food allergies, I am very specifically trying to track what I'm eating. I am not trying to track it for calories or anything like that. I am literally trying to keep a record for me to go back to so that if I were to have another incident, I could see maybe if there was a correlation, you know, four days, maybe I had a particular ingredient, a lot of it or something like that. Um, and so, I am probably going to rework this, but I love the vertical layout. I love the water tracker being built in. I love that there's a section for rest and I love that there's just a note section. So for me, I think this is probably going to be, I might leave like a line or two at the top for exercise, but then the rest of this section is really gonna be where I'm tracking my food. And then I do have extra note section on this kind of weekly column uh, check-in section. So all seven days, I personally love that it's Monday through Thursday and Friday through Sunday. It's exactly like my Moxie Life Planner. So that is less work for my brain. So 26 of those layouts. 
and then in the back you have notes pages. And I looked at this and it's basically a two page spread for um, like 24 or so lined pages total. And those just take you all the way to the back. So this is where you could do the water tracking again for every month. Um, of course, you could just make notes. You could put recipe ideas in here if you're trying to eat more nutritiously based on what your doctor or nutritionist has recommended. You could put notes in here about um, your times. Like if you're training to run a 5K or a half marathon, you could have things like that in there. I just really like that it's plenty of room, very simple, very portable. As you can see, it's just larger than my hand, so it's going to be very easy to keep with me.